Well, hello, Miss Michelle. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. How is everyone else? I'm trying to find myself on my phone. I'm going to turn it down. Not up, down. There we go. And find live. And I'll be in business. There we go. I'm in business. Okay. Hey, Carol. How are you? Um, okay. We're on our part two for this journal. Oh, let's see. Where am I even going to start? Um, well, let's see if we get, there comes some back people. Okay. Hey, Tanya. Glad you made it. Um, all right. Here we go, guys. Yeah, we're on the part. Uh, so, all right. Here we go, guys. Are you? Oh, Michelle, turn your uh, I did. Volume I'm off. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, I, who's talking to me? I'm like, who's talking to me? <laughs> How are they talking to me? <laughs> hey, sorry. Robin. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Um, all right. So we're on part two, and we're fixing to do the hidden signatures put in the hidden signatures in our journal. And when I say that, that would be, you won't see any strings on the outside. No strings on the outside of your spine. Everything's going to be on the inside. And um, it's really easy once you see it done. It sounds like, oh, what in the world does she mean? But um, hidden signatures, you're going to need a piece of chipboard or, or whatever you used, your box or whatever, but you're going to take your piece of chipboard, the same size, just a little, just right there on your spine, the exact same size. You want to make sure that your, your cover is going to close. So if you have to trim it down a little bit, you know, trim it down a little bit. And I will need to go just a little bit down on mine because it's not wanting to close. So I guess you would say you would want your uh, inside spine just a little bit smaller than your regular spine. So I'm going to trim just a tad bit down. I'm just shave just a little bit off. Shave just a little bit off because you want your cover each side to be able to close. Let me see if that works. Let's see if that works. So I just took a little bit off. And I think that's going to... Yeah, that did it for me. So you just want to make, yes, my fur baby. I tell you, she hears something upstairs barking. She's going to run up here and get it. I've got, um, yeah, <laughs> so she likes to bark. She does do that. But, um, so yeah, so make sure your, your inside spine's just a little bit smaller than what your other spine is. That way everything shuts good because you're going to be gluing that down on the inside and you want your covers to be able to shut. So there we go. And you're going to need, um, I'm going to be using a piece of fabric. I just decided to go ahead and use a pink piece because I use the digitals for my cover and I think that pink goes really pretty with it. So I'm going to use a pink piece of fabric and that little spine piece there. Now, before we can do that, we've got to figure out how many, okay, how many signatures you have, which you know, because you've already got, I've got three. So if you have three, if you have two, if you have one, um, this is the way that I'm going to show you an easy, fun way to be able to get your lines, you know, nice and straight to where everything lines up nice and good. And then whenever you get ready to sew it onto your, your, little piece here everything will be lined up so what i'm going to do is i don't know probably y'all probably seen this before but you cut another piece of paper the same size as what you cut this right here hey marie maria how are you hey wendy Let's, um, we're going to figure out how to measure our spine, how to get our uh, signatures now onto here. 
and we want to make sure it's all lined up. And I used to have the world's worst problem trying to uh, line up the spaces in between and measure out, you know, this way because I'm not a very good measurer with a measuring stick and how to measure, you know, your three little spots, you know, to do your three pamphlet stitch. So I seen this. I don't know who, where I've seen it, but um, I saw that they took a piece of paper, the same size as your spine here. Hey, Naomi. And uh, they folded it in half long ways. So I'm going to fold mine in half long ways. I want it all to line up. And I'm going for three, so I'll get to go get to move, do uh, three. There's my first, there's my middle signature right there. That's where my middle signature is going to go. Now I'm going to take this flap and fold it back, and that's going to give me my second signature. So I'm going to fold that back. I just ripped it. It's okay, though. Because this is going to be your template. And if you always make the books the same size, you can always save this template and have it for later. So right there is going to be, now I've got two signatures. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to fold it back on itself and make my next my next little my next little signature line here so there we go so now i've got now i'm going to have three lines there see one two three three lines now we're still not done hello how come there are two videos playing well, we've got, I didn't put the names up, but I've got myself here, right here, and then we've got Michelle joined us, so <laughs> we've got her here with us. So there we go. we got Tab and Michelle. There you go. Now you can see. Now you see. I didn't have that up. <laughs> this is Michelle Harrington, um, so by Michelle. I know y'all have seen her around in the group, um, and probably a lot of you guys have ordered from her. She has a lot of... Uh, fun ephemera um, in her shop that um, you know a lot of us don't carry and she has a lot of it like bingo cards time cards she's got um, a lot of uh, unique things so um, yeah so there you go so say hello to Michelle and um, so okay so we've got it we've got it folded three ways Okay, Ooh. all you're going to do again is fold it up in half, and that's going to be your middle line. And when we ink it up here, you're going to see it. So now we've got, we've got the middle part. So that's going to be the middle part. All right, we're not done yet. We're going to, we're still going to fold it again. So I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to fold it one more time. That's going to give me my three holes. Okay, so now we got this little bit of piece of paper. Now, when we undo it, oh, you'll see it. You gonna see it. We've got our template for our signatures, and um, to help y'all see it a little bit better, I will ink it up here. There's the middle or the top part, the middle. And where's my bottom? And here's the bottom. Here's the bottom. See top, middle, bottom. And then uh, we'll we'll go ahead and do our lines here. We'll see those. I mean, you don't have to ink it. I'm just trying to showing y'all where to, where it's at. And that way y'all see it better. And get this one here. So this is going to be our template that we're going to use to make our holes to sew in our signature. So see, we got line one line, two line, three line, and we've got the perfect spaces in between. And whenever you lay it on your spine that you're sewing in, you got the perfect width at the beginning, perfect width at the end. 
perfect, perfect. So see there? There we go. So now what I do is you can go however it is you want to. If you're going to want to punch holes, you can punch your holes in it. And um, you're going to have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. And then you have a hole here right at the cross lines. And a hole here and a hole here. A hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. So there's your cross line. So that's where I'm going to know where I'm going to insert my needle. I'm not going to uh, use the hole punch because when I use the hole punch, I feel like I got a lot of wiggle room. And I don't want all that wiggle room. So I'm just going to use my awl and I'm going to punch my holes. Okay. So now that we've got our template, we can set our template aside. And we're just going to take our glue and we're going to glue this onto our piece of fabric. So whatever it is you're using, fabric, paper, um, whatever it is, you're going to want to take your inner spine and you want to glue it right in the middle of it. So you're just going to glue it down right in the middle of it. Because what's going to happen is this is what we're going to flip it over and we're going to, we're going to sew our signatures in this piece right here. Then we're going to take it and we're going to glue it down. And when we glue it down, that's all going to hold in our middle part. And that's what's going to give us our hidden signatures and all. So you want to make sure your paper is at least an inch or two. Like right here, you want, you want to make sure it's at least a, a good amount on each side. That way, whenever you glue it down, it'll be able to glue nicely onto your book here, your cover. Okay. So I'm going to... Um, get my Mod Podge. I'm just going to use Mod Podge. And if I can find it. Let me see. Where did I put it? I'm just going to use Mod Podge. And you can use any glue you want to use. Um, it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm just going to use some Mod Podge here. And I'm going to get this glued down onto my piece of fabric. And it's hidden anyway, so you're not gonna you're not gonna see it. Can I just wing my holes? You can wing your holes. Yeah, you can do. It. <laughs> I, I was just showing an easy way, but yes, I you can do how you want to do it. Yes. Okay. No, you ain't got to do it this way. <laughs> you know, some of them. You know, I know I had a problem with it at the very mm -hmm. beginning. I couldn't yeah. wing my holes, and I was like, oh gee, <laughs> and I never got it straight. And it, it that really bugged me. So, right. yeah. Okay. So, you're going to get that put down like that. It's going to be goopy. It's going to be goopy. So, get that on there. Yeah. You don't have to do it that way. Don't you sew it in? Yes, you're going to sew it in. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there, Miss Kathy. Yeah, the, uh, we're going to take this, and we're going to make our little lines, and then we're going to sew it in. So, yes, but we're going to sew our signatures into this, not this. So, we're going to be sewing it into this. So, what I'm going to do is on the back side, right here. Let me move my stuff up. What I'm going to do is on the back side. I might should have used Fabri-Tac, huh? It normally sits down. I guess I gotta wait a minute. <laughs> it's gonna curl up on me. <laughs> I'm gonna take my little clamps and clamp this down. Hold on. This is gonna you wanna come up on me. But, uh, yeah, we're going to sew them in. But we're going to sew them in on this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Well, no. Hold on. Let me take these clamps off. I'm going to take my template here like this. And I'm going to lay it down. Now I'm going to clamp it on to that spine. 
like this. Okay. So there's my template. All right. Now I'm just going to take and I'm going to um, get my awl. Let me find it. Well, I wasn't ready, was I, guys? I don't know what mine my is awl. either. <laughs> got my awl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my hoe right through them little circles, right at the crosshairs. Or however it is you want to do it, you know, as long as you got your, your hose for your signatures in this little thing here. Because this is where we're going to be sewing it. So put that there. And here. A hole here. Oh, here. Hi, Lori. Can Michelle hold up your cover? Michelle, hold up your cover. They won't see it. The cover? Mm-hmm. They see it? Can you see it, Lori? Jeez. Now I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to make sure my hose are going all the way through good because I am going through fabric. Yes, she said yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't see comments. Sorry, sorry. So, poking all through there. Still a little wet. Okay, so I can go ahead and take my template off because I got my holes in there. Okay. So now my holes are ready. I'm ready to start. Uh, sewing in, but when I sew them in, I'm going to sew them in on this side here, on the fabric side, okay? Because it's going to lay like this. Once we get them all sewn in, we're going to glue it in our little book right here, and that's what gives us our hidden signatures, okay? So I'm going to start. Um, you figure out which signature, how you want it to go in your book, and I think I'm going to go this way. I think I go this way. So I've got signature one, two, and three. So I'm going to start with my third signature. Okay. We're going to open it up. Make sure it's the way that you want it before you get to rolling here. And I put a paper clip at the top and a paper clip at the bottom. Let me find, I guess I use one of these and a uh, paper clip at the bottom. And now everything's held in there good. Um, I'm going to take my template, okay? I'm going to put it down. I'm going to lay it in my book here. And that middle is where my hoe is, is what I'm going to put to mark so I know where to sew, okay? You can't see it. Hold on. I can see it, but I don't know if y'all can see it. But right there, there's my little dots. So that's where I know I'm going to where I'm going to sew. Get your wagon thread out in your needle. I'm going to go ahead and poke my holes. So poke your hose through there. I have this uh, handy dandy little thing that my husband made me. But I know people don't have that. So I was trying to show a way that you guys 
would be able to do this on, you know, by yourselves. And if you're new at it, you know, that template is really nice to have. Okay, you're going to go three times the length. So there's one. Hold on. One, two, three. That's enough. Okay. So there's that. So I've got my thread. My needle is where? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Here it is. I can put this Mod Podge up. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> oh. And you need to thread your needle. Thread your needle, girls. I just ordered the binding tool. Ah, yes. Well, see, my husband made me uh, the binding tool, but he made mine out of uh, some wood. Um, we have the 3D printer, and I'm fixing to print me out one. I just haven't got that far yet. So I'm going to make me one out of my 3D printer. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, too. But I just haven't got that far, guys. I got a lot that goes on here. <laughs> but, yeah, um, okay. So you want to make sure that whatever's your top part, you got, you know, that's your top part because make sure you got your top part of your book. And I'm going to start in the middle with my, with my needle and I'm going on a third stitch and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to get me a good little bit here. I might make it long to start with because I might, um, uh, Add some beads to it. I don't know. Okay. Then you go into your top hoe. And then you go into your top hoe of your signature. So top hoe, top hoe. And get that pulled in. It feels a little awkward at first because you don't have anything real hard, you know, like your book. That you're messing with but it works out and um, get that pulled in good and then I'm going to jump all the way down I'm going to skip the hoe and I'm going all the way down to the third hoe just make sure you're on the right you're staying in the right little area there right line I couldn't tell you how many times I've done that and take it out okay so there's that now I'm going to come back up my second hoe, and I want to come back in on this side over here. So I'm going up my second hoe, maybe. There we go. And then I'm going to come into my second hoe of my signature. Okay. All right. Our first one is sewn in, guys. All we got to do is tie it off. So you want to make sure it's in there real good. No gaps. Everything's good and tight. Cut your string off and tie it. You want to tie a square knot, so you're going to go one this way. So I went this way, so now I'm going to go this way. Tie you a couple knots, make you a good old square knot. Okay, I'm gonna cut some of this off. Won't need it that long. All right, so there's our first signature sewn in. See how that went? So there's number one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this here. We're gonna sew in number row number two. So we're gonna do it the same way. We're gonna get our signature. Make sure all of our papers are the right way, and we're going the right way. Put our little paper clips on. Use that one. And put that down. Make sure everything's good the way that you want it. And if you have to flip through here and see, you know, flip through there, fix them the way you want it before you sew it in. And you get your template. You're going to put it down. 
and this time I'm not even going to mark it. I'm just going to punch through the holes. So you're going to take and you're going to punch right through that middle line there because that's the middle, the middle part, and just punch your little holes. Oops. Jumped off there. Probably better to poke the hose through there. Hold on. There's one, there's two. One, there's two. I'm going to mark this hoe because I can't see that way. There. Now I'm just going to poke it. that one and there's that one okay so we're ready to do it again i don't know if i got enough here uh, better i better rethread it well, i probably have enough i probably have enough this is a little book so i'm going to start this one again i'm going to go in the middle and then i'm going to go in the middle of the next row i'm working on row two the next row Then I'm going to go up the first one, up the first hoe, right there. And then I'm going to go up the first hoe of my signature in the first hoe. Okay. I'm going to skip the second hoe and go into the third hoe. And do the same down here. I'm going to go into this little third hole on the second row. There we go. Third hole on the second row. Okay. And then I'm going to go up that second hole right there where I came in there. I'm going to go up it and go up that second hole of the signature. So go up. And go up. Yeah. Oops. Try not to split your thread there. <laughs> I almost did. Hold on to that so don't fall. Yeah. Did I do it? I did. See, I did split it. Uh oh. Yeah, I just gotta stick it back through here. Stick it back through here. I'm through the hose so I can take it out. There we go. Alright, and then you want to pull it tight. Make sure there's no little there's no little gaps or anything, and it's in there real good. And one goes on one side and one goes on the other side. Is the cereal box strong enough for this style? Yes. Uh, you're going to have to use... Uh, this is what I did. Because uh, I'm using a box. Um, my box is the same as what a cereal box would be. But I didn't feel that it's strong enough. So I'm going to have to double mine up. So whenever I do this right here and I get this in and I get before we put this in, I'm going to have to measure and I want another piece to go on the inside because I feel that my cover is not that strong. So I'm going to make it stronger by adding the panel, by adding, by adding the panel in here instead of just covering it up. So does that make sense? So I'm going to put a panel. I find it mine, but haven't done much as well. Here you go. Kelly, you on a row? Well, we've got two signatures in. Two signatures so far of this. Let me get this tied up good. 
I don't know how many I tied, but I'm going to tie another one. Okay, so there's that. So there's two. All right. Let me get this clamped off here and out of my way. All right, now we're going to do another one. Okay, so we've got our little template again for our next signature. I'm going to get my clips on there and get it the way I want it. This one's going to have an envelope in it. Um, make sure I got everything down good. Everything's good and even. Put your clips on. Hi, Julie. Hi, Kara. And um, so put your clips on. Make sure you got it going the right way. This would be my right way. This is the way we're rolling. And uh, put your signature in there again, or your little template back down in there again, just like this. And I'm going, I, I feel that I do better marking my little dot and then punching because I can't keep this thing held down good enough. So I've got my little dots. Now I'm going to punch my hole with my awl right through it. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm ready to sew this one in. And then we almost got our signatures, guys. Almost got our signatures. Almost. But yes, you can, for me, I'm doubling mine up because I don't think that it's got enough um, firmness. So if you feel it don't have firmness, add you some more. All right, let me get this cut in here. This wax thread, I got to cut at an angle or I don't get it through my needle. Okay. So we're going to go in our middle signature. And we're going in our middle hoe. Okay, we can go up our top signature, or up our top hoe, and in our top hoe of our signature. Where's my hoe? There it is. And pull it through. Pull it through. Okay, and then I'm going to skip the second hole. And I'm going to jump all the way down to my third hole. Put it through there and put it through the little spine thing there. That hole. Okay. So it's going to look like that. And then I'm going to come back up this hole here. And then I'm going through the hole of my book. Right up that second hole of the book. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on, I'm just going to pull it through here. Let me pull it through. Now let me come through my now let me come through my book. I got a too long piece of thread that time. Now we're going through our book. And just pull it on through. Okay, same thing. You want to make sure it's in there good. Good and tight. Not too tight where you rip your pages, but good and tight. Cut it off. Make sure one's on one side and one's on the other. Like that. And tie it. OK. 
Okay, guys. So there's our three signatures right there. All nestled on this one little piece of thingy here. See it? All right. Now, what I'm going to have to do, let's see. We're going to put it on here. So we're going to go ahead and get this on because I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a panel down. Okay. So, and the same would go for you too. You would put this down first. And then whether you're just putting uh, more fabric over it or whatever you're going to do, I'm going to put a panel because I want this thickened up. So I'm going to do a, a panel and um, back it with my, put my paper on it. And then I'm going to glue that panel right down over top of everything. But I got to get this all glued in. So make sure we got it on the top way, top way, top way, top way. Okay. And now we're going to get us a bunch of old glue. We're going to get a bunch of glue in here and on this thing. And we're going to just glue it down. And we're going to have, probably have to let it set for a little bit. And I'm wondering if I've got enough fabric tack. I don't think I do. I would use the fabric tack. I might. No, I don't either. Okay, so Mod Podge. I'm using Mod Podge again. So I'm going to be using my little clamps. <laughs> oh. So, got to just get you some Mod Podge. Sorry for all the questions. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm new to the JJ. Oh, no, ask away, Lori. If I can help, I, I, I help. I help. So, ask away. Ask away. And I'm just going to glue down here. Let's see how far I go. I'm glad a little bit farther. Kill me. So I'm just going to come on out. That's it. So this right here is called a hidden, hidden spine. A lot of times when you have a regular book cover, you know, if you get it a book and you've got a book cover you want to use, this is the method that you would use. So it's a fun way. So remember that if you're going to be using a book. So I think I got enough glue down there. I think. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, I'm going to take my spine and I'm going to even it up with this spine. Just line it up. Line it up. Okay, and then kind of smush out your rest of your stuff here. Like I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm going to mush this fabric down on it. And let me get something else here. Let me get a wipe. I can't let go. So let me get a wipe. And uh, that way I've got it. So I want my spine to be with my spine because I know I just moved. My spine's with my spine. Spine's with the spine. Okay. Now let's get that on there. And then let's get this one over here down. Good. Get in the little cracks, you know, the little creases. Get in there more good. Okay, and I am going to take me, me some of those little clamps. <laughs> what? You laughing at me? No, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> oh, you laughing at me? <laughs> no. uh, wiping off my excess glue. What are you doing? I think I just turned it the wrong way. I, I don't know. I'm on the last one now. I'm getting it, girl. Oh no, you're you're fine, girl. You're fine. You're fine. I'm slower than um, you are, honey. Oof. Oh, the reposition, the repurposing a book. Yes, yes. So, like, if you were to repurpose a book, and we'll get there, we're going to do that. We're going to get a book, and we're going we're going to uh, we're going to make it a new book. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. Maybe next time. Uh, that's a good idea. Um, but yes. So, because I'm already showing the spine. But, um, yeah, so 
that's what you do right there. Make sure I got it the right way. Oh, I scared myself. I had it flipped around. I was like, oh, did I? Ugh. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to let that dry just like that. And I'm going to uh, measure my panels and do my panels. That way I can get this all done in this one video maybe. What time is it? I might be able to. I don't know. Because that's got to dry. But anyway, right there, see how? Nothing on the outside. It's just like a regular little book. No threads. And there's all kinds of things you can do. Um, I could have I put my little hook here first, you know, like the little anchor, the little door knocker looking thing right here first before I glued this down. And that would have been hidden. I could have put a bookmark in here before um, I laid this down. I could have laid a big old piece of lace with a little bead on it or whatever behind this and then that way I would have had a always you know a little bookmark uh, there's all different things you can do thank you Lori hey Cherry how are you this is drying <laughs> this is drying <laughs> oh it's got wet but uh, I want it to glue flat so I'm going to leave it alone Maybe if I leave it alone, you think it'll dry? I think so. <laughs> I'm bad about that. Do I got another big clip? Got another big clip on here. Okay. All right. So there's my <laughs> there's my hidden signature. Now I am going to have to, like I said, take and um, measure my panel, cover my panel, and glue my panel on. And then I'm done with that part. And once everything dries, I can start decorating the inside, like adding pockets um, and doing things like that. Um, make sure before you do this right here, that if you were doing any type of sewing, that you would go ahead and sew your signatures or uh, like sewing around the pages or around anything that you add it to it. Make sure you do all of that before you do this because it'll make your life a lot easier. And trying to get it all under the sewing machine once you get it all in here. But there. So, how did that look to y'all? Did that look like something y'all would want to try? One of these hidden signatures? I like it like this. I like it like I like hidden signatures. Like I said, there's so much you can do with it um, with a hidden signature. Uh, I mean, because before you put this uh, piece of fabric down, whatever extras you wanted to do to your spine on the outside that maybe, you know, like putting in the brad for the door knocker thing or whatever, it'll mm -hmm. hide it. You know, you don't have to worry about it poking through the middle of your signatures because you've got it hid with this fabric in the other part. So. Oh, Lord, I made it. Uh -oh. Yay! I do too. I don't think too bad. Maria. No, you did good. Look at That's you go. Winging it. You did good. Well, and it's straight. See, you can go straight. I can't. I'm all wompy. I've got a. I've got a <laughs> hole here and a hole here and a hole here. If I did it without having something to to help me line it out, right, I'm all right. crooked. <laughs> I'm all crooked. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did earlier, but forgot the materials. <laughs> yeah, put you, get you something, whether it's paper or whatever it is that you're going to use. You know, you don't have to use, you don't have to use fabric. You can use paper or, you know, wide ribbon or, uh, you know, because some, you can get like big, big ribbon, but um, I don't know. So, yeah, but well, okay, I guess I stopped or do y'all want to see me do the panels? Or do you want to, y'all think y'all got that? Or do you want to see me do the panels? Or do you not understand what I mean when I say I'm going to do the little panel? 
but I can do the panels. I just don't want to keep you long like I did the other other night. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chipboard and get me another piece of chipboard. Like this. And I'm just going to measure me off a piece that's just, a you know, I don't want it to be the exact same length width as this. Kind of like my spine because I want to be able to close my cover, you know. So I'm going to make it just a little bit um, smaller the inside make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to take whatever I want to cover the inside of um, my panel here I'm going to cover it with my paper or my fabric and I'm going to get it all put on there and then I'm just going to glue it straight down and then that's it that's all I'm going to do to it and then I'm going to do the same to the back so what I do to the front I'm going to do to the back Oh, well, I can't wait to see you guys. If y'all are going to be following along, I'd love to be able to see you You all do one, too. So y'all got to do some of these. All right, do the panels, Tanya? Okay. Let me see here. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> let's she see. Said, do the panels. She said, do the panels. All right, let's He's see where I'm at here. I should have did my or had them ready before I did this, but I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to measure out here, get my markings. I'm just going to go a little, a little in. So get my markings. If I get one, I can cut the other one the same. So they're the same size. They better be the same size. Huh. <laughs> I glue, do I glue this fabric down too on the side? Yes, you glue the, the fabric down on there too. Yep. Okay. I was still doing a signature. <laughs> hey, I think it's awesome that you got it on there without uh, using a template. Thank you. See, I've it's never seen that, uh, that template. Aww. Never seen that. Girl, anything to make my life easier. I find <laughs> it. I will find it. Uh, but like I said, I use, I, that's what I used to use. I, um, I've got that tool now. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what we got, Miss Tanya. Let's see. Is that going to work? Yep, that's going to work for my inside cover. So there's one. Now I just need to cut another one just like it. And then I can um, put my paper on it and get it glued on. I want that to stay standing up so it dries. I normally don't use Mod Podge for the inside of that. I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. So if you use it, that it, it, you know, that's okay. It's just it takes it so long for me to dry. It just takes long. Okay. So let me mark this and we'll get this one cut. For our back side. And let's hope that it. You might have to go in just a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, they're both even, so I did good. Okay, so there. Woo! I was sweating that one. I like watch oh, one be bigger than the other. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so I've got my two panels. So this is going to be for front and for back. Okay. Now I've got to get my paper of what I want to put on it. So let's see what we're going to use. Let me see what I got printed. This one, that's the grunge. I don't want that one. That was the grunge. Okay, there it is. There it is. What am I going to put for the panel? Hmm. Let's see. Let 
No, I think I might go something solid. So I think I might just do this for that one front anyway. I don't know if I can make it to the back. I might, yeah, I get them both on there, I think. I think I can get them both on there. So I'm going to put this on here. I don't know. And right here and trim it. And trim this down. Will that work on the other one too? Yep, okay, there it is. Yay, yay, yay. I don't have to cut but one time. All right, so now I'm going to take and flip my little, make sure I got them going the right way here. Flip one over, flip the other one over, move my little book out of the way here. Flip one over, flip the other one over. And I'm going to put me some glue on. I think I'm going to. I wonder if I can get my tacky out. Let's try that. It'll go, it'll dry faster. Plus, it's not a real big area that I gotta do. So get that and put it right down in the middle. Okay, do the next one. And like I said, you can use your fabric this way. But I'm just using all the pretty torn edges. Don't forget to decorate the inside covers. I have done that. I've done, I have done that. Forgot to decorate them or put a pocket or something. Okay, so there we go. We got them. We got them backed anyway. So let's, uh, let's. What is it? Miter the corners. On these okay now we can go ahead and get them folded over And then we'll glue them. We'll glue them down. We we'll have our panels, guys. I we'll have some panels. Book's gonna look good there, Michelle. I hope so. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna do what you're doing tomorrow. The panels. Yeah, I, I haven't cut out any. There's one panel, and if I wanted to, at this point, I could take it over to my sewing machine and sew around it. But I'm not going to. I will ink around it. Um, but I'm not going to be sewing on this one. Uh, 
I'm just folding these over so I can start the glue. <laughs> Are you going to be leaving your material hanging? At the very top of it, do you mean, Tanya? Yes. I like to have the phrase. I like to have a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. It's just something I like to do. I like the, the fray kind of look. So I will be leaving the top of it hanging on mine. But you could cut it off. Uh, I also forgot. I was curious about that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, no, I can't say sometimes because I all the time I usually have a little hanging over. Yeah. Will you be so will your sewing machine cut through? Yes, because this uh chipboard that I've got is just like a cereal box. It's thin and it'll go right through it. Um so it'll go right through a cereal box and it'll go right through this chipboard. Actually, it'll go through two two layers. Um you just gotta know your machine. Some may not, you know, but mine will. Yes. <laughs> okay so we got that now let me get um some ink out let me ink around them a little bit since i am not sewing on it i do want something around it to tell that i got something down Get that last side here and we can start gluing. We get the gluing down. Okay, let's get all this out of our way. Let's get our book back over. And make sure we got the top part. There's my top. Let's go back. All right, it's starting to get a little harder now. <laughs> it's starting to dry. Okay. I'm going to put this one here with the rose. I'm going to put it on the front part right here. And I'm going to take my Mod Podge again. Uh, maybe I use tacky glue. Maybe I will use tacky. Maybe we'll just try it. It's a little spot, isn't it? You just want to make sure it's down good. You don't want your front cover panel <laughs> to pop up. Just make sure you got enough to glue it down real good. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Down. Like so. And now we'll have our inside cover. Um. All right, where's my little clamp? Clamps, let's clamp it. <coughs> clamp it, clamp it. Most of it's there, there. I was like, now I know I had more out. Maybe not. Put some more. Put the little clamps down. Clamp 
Excuse me. You okay over there? Yeah. <laughs> Chug them all spit sometimes. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is Michelle going to use for her panels? Tanya wants to know. Uh, I got some papers printed out. So these pretty papers. Pretty papers. Yeah, I bought that yep. kit. Which one? The torn edges? <coughs> yes. Or, yes, it is pretty, isn't it? It is very pretty. I don't think there's a kit that she's printed out that I haven't <laughs> liked yet or that she's uh, put out. <laughs> you see what I've done? What did you do? Look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just go. That, you know what? I've done that. All you need to do now is take you another piece of uh, either the fabric or put you a pretty piece of lace that you're going to use. Okay, over. okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, just, that's no big deal. Oh, I just noticed that. I was like, ah. Crap. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, so here comes this panel now. Get it lined up. Yeah, it looks nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, tacky glue, you don't have room to work with because it dries fast. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Now let me put some little <coughs> clamps on it and we'll see what we got. Mm, yes, me should it go up? Oh, go this way. Oh, this way. <laughs> okay. Need that middle there to get good down. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, let's take these paper clips out. They can come off now. <clears throat> She's still drying, and I can't close it because of the clamps. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, they're, they're, that's, that's what the panels are. That's how the panels do, right there. Nice. So let's see. But there we go. So we did our hidden spine. Isn't she? Isn't she teasing? Yes, she's teasing. Show them, a, hold the papers up and show them what you got. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you're teasing them. They're like, you're teasing us with your papers. These are the ones I got. I haven't printed a whole lot of them. She's using the um, torn edge paper, uh, the kit that I've, I've got going here. But, yeah, it's a beautiful kit, guys. It really is. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Uh, Y'all be able to see it better when I get able to close it, but I can't close it because of all my clamps I got on it. But, um, but yeah. So now next week we will start uh, putting in pockets and see how far we can go from there, like putting in, you know, some pockets and maybe some little flips or something. That's the best then, part. Isn't it? That's the fun part. That's yes. really, yeah. That's where it gets really fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, but, well, thank you guys uh, that have watched and commented because I will, after this live, I will pull y'all's names and get you in for another spot on the wheel, okay? So, uh, that means two, two, 
two chances there that you have a chance to win my little book here that I got going. But, um, yeah, so can't beat it, you know, and maybe it'll inspire you. Whoever wins it, you know, can look at it and get a little bit of inspiration or they might look at it and say, oh, my goodness, what that girl do. But um, <laughs> no, <laughs> like what she do. But um, anyway, but uh, thank you all for watching and thank you all for commenting. And Michelle, yes. I can't wait next week till we get to start decorating. I uh, know. Start putting in pockets. Yes, yes, fun, fun. I know it. I know it. So um, anyway, um, thank you guys for uh, watching and uh, stay tuned for next week. Okay. Next Wednesday, 7 o'clock. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.